But uh, talk about Cole. We uh, heard some stories. Kind of a strange guy, huh? Strange. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You guys can the bars pretty good today. Up your ass, Cole. Why don't you do your own fucking leg work, you rat fuck? Say it again with me. Just want you to stop saying odd shit like you smell a psychosphere or you're in someone's faded memory of a town. Just stop. Uh, given how long it's taken for me to reconcile my nature, I can't figure I'd forgo it on your account, Marty. You wash up, you got some pussy on you. Hey! What's with your fucking nose? Nothing, man. Sorry, forget it. I get a connotation being implied here about my wife. Are you saying that's wife? The high tide you're walking in with? You got some idea how my wife's pussy's supposed to smell? No, I just meant you wearing the same clothes as you did yesterday. Coupled with the fact that I ain't stupid. Kathleen? You got it. Xerox all you want. Make you feel like good cops. God damn, Cole. How many ways are there for me to say, shut the fuck up? Do something else. Got a down payment. You're shitting on any moment of decency, part of your job description. Means I'm bad at parties. <laughs> Let me tell you, you ain't great outside of parties either. Yeah, well, if the common good's got to make up fairy tales, then it's not good for anybody. My luck, I picked today to get to know you. Wait, wait, three months, I don't hear a word from you, and you asked. Yeah, and now I'm begging you to shut the fuck up. You don't say fuck all about my wife. Don't say her name. You got some self-loathing to do this morning, that's fine. But it ain't worth losing your hands over. No, would that work exactly? No, i just apply a couple pounds of pressure. Snap your wrist. I got a bad taste in my mouth out here. Aluminum. Ash. Like you can... Smell a psychosphere. I got an idea. Let's make the car a place of silent reflection from now on. Thank you for your time. Walks that fucking slow. You're obsessive. You're obsessive too, just not about the job. Not me, brother. I keep things even. Separate. I like the way I can have just one beer without needing 20. People incapable of guilt usually do have a good time. Hey! You mow my lawn? Hmm? Just what you think I'd be doing over here you're not around, Marty? What's our problem? You and me. No problem. I just don't ever want you mowing my lawn. All right, I like mowing my lawn. What do we say about silent reflection? I think it's safe to say that nobody here is going to be splitting the atom, Marty. You see that? Your fucking attitude. But I just need her to give me another shot. If I could just get another shot. I think I'd tell you something. Yeah, this is none of my business. I want to hear it. It's gonna be tough. Living with somebody spouting insane shit in your ear all day long. Enough with the self improvement, penance, hand wringing shit. Let's go to work. Do you think you're. Fuck! Hell of a bedside man you got, Russ. Uh, you know, being stupid is different than gone and sick, and this is a bar, not a fucking bedside. We're in their need. Tom, I think you hit a ceiling and you just keep raising the bar. You are like the Michael Jordan of being a son of a bitch. 
You ever been hunting, Marty? Uh, yeah. Ten point buck year before last, 50 yards. I'm not talking about sitting in a treehouse late in ambush a buck come to sniff your gash bait. I'm talking about tracking. Jesus, you're a prick. There's some fucking nerve you got, buddy. You need to take a few steps back, Rush. Uh, right now. Hey. I'm the only one ever took up for you. Ever. You know what it's like being your partner? Huh? Fuck you. Nobody without me. There is no you. So take the fucking report, man. Huh? Coming from my files, Marty. Maybe we should talk. Yeah? About your beer? Sure. I'll follow you. Actually, why don't you buy me a beer? I think I've been very clear with you, Russ. If you were drowning, I'd throw you a fucking barbell. It's hard to find something in a man who rejects people as much as you do. You know that? I never told you how to live your life, Marty. No, no, no. You just sat in judgment. Russ, it's good to see you. Bullshit. Get on out of here. Your class gonna blaze up. How you been? <clears throat> you know, besides work, what do you do? Oh, sorry, I just, I don't ever remember you asking me a personal question before. Well, I'll come back by tomorrow, buddy. All right. Don't ever change, man. <laughs> 